Okay, hey everyone! Um, so this video is a bit different. I'm not gonna do any like exercises or anything today. I'm just not feeling 100%. And um, there's really nothing new to show you. I've been on Spin Raza 10 months now. 10 months! Wow, that went by so fast. And um, as you've seen, if you've watched my previous videos, I have done, um, I can get up from a chair without using my hands, and I can also, um, I can climb upstairs without holding onto the railing. I wanted to clarify, um, for the stairs, it's only like a couple, a couple steps without the railing. I still do need the railing if I'm going up like a, a long flight of stairs. Um, I was able to go upstairs before I was starting on Spinraza, but it was, it was really challenging for me, and it has, it's still a bit of a challenge, but it has gotten a lot easier since I started. Um, the chair, that's been a huge thing, like, it's still, like, depending on how tired I am the day of, it can still be a challenge, but... Um, for the most part, that's a lot easier. Like, before Spinraza, I could not get up from a chair without pushing my hands on the chair to get up at all. But now, now I can. So, I try to do that as much as I can. Sometimes I still do have to use my hands, usually for, like, the lower chairs and stuff. Um, so that's been a lot easier. I have my next dose coming up on July 20th, which, oh man, I can't even, I can't believe that it's already July, can you guys? That's crazy, right? Um, what else? Um, so, that's basically it that I wanted to share with you about Spinraza. Um, I have noticed I've gained a lot of weight on it while I've been on it. I don't know if that is from, um, because I'm, I'm constantly hungry, so that's part of it. And then, um, I also, I also switched jobs. I think a lot of you know that, but now I'm in like a, a position where I'm sitting pretty much all the time. So that I believe contributed to it. They're supposed to be opening a Planet Fitness in my town, um, pretty soon. So I'm waiting for that to open and then I'll have a gym membership again and I can start going to the gym and hopefully show you guys some cooler things and um, get more strength. I also um, I also built a thing to help me get out of my pool. I want to share that with you guys, but it's been so windy here. I used it for the first time yesterday. It was, <laughs> it was a challenge, but it was easier than rolling over the side and crawling over somewhere to try and get up. Um, I'll share a picture with you though, but I want to show me actually like how I use it with you guys so you can see because my arms are really strong. So that's um, where that is. Oh, anyway, back to what I was saying. I've gained a lot of weight on Spinraza. I used to drink a lot of soda. I mean a lot of soda, which is not good for you. Um, so... Two weeks ago, I decided to cut back, and um, I started, for the first week, I did two of those mini cans per day, and then the second week, I did one per day, and I have, I noticed, um, I've lost four pounds, yay, because I think I gained, um, I think I originally gained 50 after starting Spinraza, so it's a start, but I'm hoping not if I can, um, lose more weight, then I'll be even more, um, like, it'll be easier to, to do things as well. And then, um, a lot of that might be muscle, too. I really don't know. But I've noticed, like, um, I've had to buy new clothes. So there's that, too. It's not all muscle, unfortunately. Oh, and then this week, I am going to one of those small cans every other day and then next week no soda until my dose on the 20th because I need the caffeine and I don't really want to be like worried about what I'm eating after getting a dose because let me tell you it's so worth it a lot of you have been asking me questions about what it's like to get the dose so it's a spinal tap into your spine 
for me, it doesn't hurt. They do, um, they numb you with a needle of lidocaine. And then, um, I mainly feel it, like, when they're feeling around for the spot to go in. And then after you're numb, that's when they insert the needle to find, like, the best spot to go in. They take five cc's of my spinal fluid as, like, they have to take it out anyway. And then they insert, I think it's five, I, I'm not sure what it is, but the dosage of Spinoza. And then, um, and then I lay on my side for 30 minutes. I could lay on my back. But I've noticed when I lay on my back, the injection site is really sore a lot after. So I started laying on my side and um, that's been, it, my back hasn't been as sore afterwards. And then so I lay there for 30 minutes and then I get to go home. And it's a, it's a two hour drive home for me, but that's okay. And that's that. So I really, I just don't want to be focused on um, having to find stuff to like watching what I eat and stuff that day so um also the headaches I have so for my first four doses I got the spinal headache somewhere worse than others um my third time was the worst I think I shared that with you, with you guys I had to put an ice pack on my head for like two days and I was throwing up for almost a week straight with it it was it was ridiculous, but thank goodness on my last one, I didn't get a headache at all, and I'm hoping it'll be the same for this one. Um, I look forward to sharing more with you guys. As, um, as time goes on, it's flying really fast. I'll be done with school pretty soon as well. And um, if you guys enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my channel. And go ahead, feel free to share um, with your friends. Feel free to message me if you have any questions. And I hope you guys all have a great, a great week.